Holmes. I'm Dr. Ankita Shah and I'm an airway focused dentist and a tongue tie specialist. So what we're going to do talk about today is how to look for a tongue tie. There's been a lot of debate on whether one is tongue tied, one needs a tongue tie release or you know what method to use for the tongue tie release. So what I do for all my patients is we use the TRMR scale. Now the scale was brought forth by Dr. Suroor Zaghi and the scale is basically a functional assessment of the tongue mobility. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this scale. Uh, this is a scale for assessment of your mouth opening. And uh, what we're going to ask the patient to do is open her mouth for a comfortable mouth opening. Completely open your mouth. Now, without closing your mouth, can you stick the tongue up to the roof of your mouth? So if we can see, she can read somewhere around 80% of the mouth opening. But if you want to assess this correctly, what we're going to do is uh, just comfortably open your mouth first and we are going to assess this on the scale and I see that her mouth opening is approximately 41 mm. Now I ask her to open her mouth and stick your tongue to the roof of the mouth behind the teeth. Yes, behind the teeth, not touching the teeth here. And now again I'll assess the mouth opening. Now this is around 31 mm. Now, this is where I will kind of see the percentages of the mouth opening of the tongue to the spot. The second most thing that we'll do is we'll again ask her to open her mouth and suck your tongue up. Yes. Now, we'll again see the mouth opening. Can you suck your tongue up? Yes. And her mouth opening is approximately 21 mm. Now, when the mouth opening is approximately 21 mm, now we'll again assess this ratio to the actual mouth opening, which was 41 mm. Now, if this is below 60%, then definitely the patient has some trouble with tongue mobility. Now, irrespective of these things, we'll also assess some compensations like, is there any neck tension? Is there any facial tension? Any tension in the shoulders? Any breathing, sleeping, digestive problems? any postural issues was there a raise in the floor of mouth when she was trying to reach her tongue up to the roof of the mouth was there any clenching so there are many such compensations that we would assess because you know whenever a tongue tied adult or child is there they commonly have these breathing sleeping and postural issues now irrespective of one being tongue tied we also need to look into tongue space so we also look at how much space is there in the mouth for the tongue. That is by assessing the width between the teeth, just like this. Open your mouth and we can have a little scale and we do measure the intermolar widths over here. We can also assess that from a scan. We also assess something called as the Malampati score. Can you stick out your tongue and say ah for me? Ah. Now this will help me assess how much space is there in the mouth for the tongue. So you know just to summarize, uh, what we are going to do is we should have a scale for measuring the maximal mouth opening. The mouth opening when the tongue is to spot like this and the mouth opening when tongue is in suction like this. Now, if you want to feel like getting your tongue assessed from us, please feel free to contact us on the email address or the contact information displayed below. And I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching us. Take care.